Many people think that the sun bear derived its name from the crest on their chest as it is explained to look like a setting sun. This is not the true reason, however. In 1825 Thomas Horsfield, an American physician and naturalist who was working in Indonesia, discovered the sun bear in Borneo. He compared the sun bear in Borneo to the Malayan bear and so named it Helarctos, bear from hot sun, equinoctial bear, Euspilus, wide birth mark. So the name Helarctos Malayanus Euros the sun bear that is from Borneo translates to Malayan sun bear equals the bear from the hot sun with a wide birth mark. Sun bears are the world's smallest bear and the most arboreal. Their fur is usually black, short, and smooth but with some bears may be reddish or gray in shade. A crest on the front of the chest and side of the neck can range in color from dark ochre to cream. Sun bears have small, round ears that are broad at the base. Sun bears have the longest tongue of any bear species, this helps them to extract insect from nests and honey from hives. They have powerful forelimbs, with large paws turned inwards and naked soles. This helps them to be fantastic climbers and will often sleep in nests they have made in trees. Their claws are long, curved and very sharp and they have large, broad skulls with powerful jaws and very large canines. These help them to pull apart logs and fruits to eat. Adult sun bears can vary in size. They are around 120 to 150 centimeters long and weigh 27 to 80 kilograms. Males outweigh females by 15 to 30 percent. Except for females with their offspring, sun bears are usually solitary in nature. Sun bears are primarily awake during the day, but some are active at night for short periods. Bears sleep in a variety of places including fallen hollow trees and tree roots, but will also make nests and trees branches high above the forest floor. Sun bears are omnivorous carnivores who use their keen sense of smell to find food. They feed primarily on insects, such as beetles, termites and bees, larvae, and a large variety of fruit species, including figs. They will sometimes feed on certain palms and some species of flowers and have been known to eat eggs and small reptiles. Sun bears are known as very fierce animals when surprised in the forest, but usually run away when humans are near. This makes it a very rare experience to see a sun bear in the wild. Most sightings of sun bears in the wild are through infrared camera trap. Sun bears are classified as vulnerable, meaning the species is on a path to becoming extinct in the wild within 30 years slash three generations, if current issues continue to escalate. The two major threats to sun bears are habitat loss and commercial hunting. Commercial poaching of bears for the wildlife trade is a considerable threat in most countries. Killing bears is illegal. Motivations for killing bears include, preventing crop damage, subsistence for hunters, exotic food, bush meat, medicinal beliefs, talismans, fear and misunderstanding of bears near villages, and the capture of cubs for pets, with the mother often being killed in the process.